Hey guys, this is Love Biscuit, and I'm playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Again. Inquisitor. <laughs> I really like the Inquisitor. Whole lightning thing. Well, what the hell is that? Ugh. Fine. Alright, well we just talked to D-Bag. Yeah, that's his name. I'm sure he has a real one, but I don't really care. Anyways, so we're off to talk to a jailer. Lord Zash is sending us. We got a special trial. Ooh, because we're special. Acolyte, you've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Hakan has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. Victim, hmm? This sounds like it could be fun. This is not an idle diversion, acolyte. A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here in the academy. A rivalry among apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. I can absolutely do that. Excellent. Get to it then. I look forward to watching you work. Are all Imperials fat? Okay, no, he's only the first one, but still. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Your defiance is foolish and misplaced. Please, I don't know anything, I swear it. You know how it is. Hacolytes start bragging. You don't want to look bad. It was just a dumb boast. I didn't see anything. I'm here to help. Why should I trust you? You can't help me. You can't protect me. Even if I did know something, I'd be dead. Or worse. Maybe this will change your mind. Don't do that again. I'll do anything. Tell me who murdered the apprentice. I can't do that. I can't. He'll kill me if I tell. Or worse. Who will kill you? No. I've already said too much. Please, just leave me alone. Tell me what you know. Please! All right, I'll talk. You'll kill me, but I'll talk. The murderer is an apprentice named Esor Kayan. You have to protect me, or he'll kill me. I doubt that. He'll be too busy being punished for murder. Kayan's master is a dark council member. Might as well try fighting the Emperor himself. Kayan won't get so much as a reprimand. But when Kayan finds out, he'll come after me. What exactly does this have to do with me? Of course, it's not your problem. Why should you care? Maybe if I'm lucky, Kane will put me out quickly. Did anybody else notice that he sounds like Cullen from Dragon Age? Or is it just me? You don't have to tell me. I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. Yes or Kane? Kane's master is a dark council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkin. You may return to him now. What are you going to do about the murderer? Nothing, although the apprentice's master will have to be informed. It's not my business to dispense justice, certainly not where the dark council is concerned. You're a coward, Inquisitor. I am a living Sith. I intend to remain that way. Concern for matters that are not your business is a weakness that will get you killed. I suggest you eliminate this undesirable trait as quickly as possible and forget about this acolyte. So you're just going to let yourself be bullied? And what would you suggest? I don't have the power to oppose a dark council member, and neither do you. 
Still, there has to be something you can do. You are persistent, aren't you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to keep him here while the master of the murdered apprentice pursues justice. Perhaps they can be made to believe that the acolyte hasn't been broken yet. That should be sufficient. It has been most pleasant watching you work, acolyte. Truly, I wish you the best of luck in your remaining trials. And now back to D-Bag. Or I guess Harkin. I guess that's his name. I like D-Bag better though. But that guy really did sound like Cullen from Dragon Age, didn't he? I don't know. I had a crush on Cullen. I ended up downloading the mod so that I could kiss him when I was a... Uh, uh, whatever, frickin' caster. Yeah, I know I'm a nerd. Boogie 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 woo! Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only Teacher's a matter pet. of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, oh, slave. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fon and I'm our late. Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Huh. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. Truly, your generosity astounds. You're only digging your own grave. Fon, you will go to the library on the second floor <laughs> of the, the academy library. and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave, deep in the ancient monster-infested tomb of Marker Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. Hey, it beats going to the library. Yawn. Spoken like the idiot you are. You will bring back the holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marka Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Happy gaming.